On the internet, there is a uh, video film where they say that a can of a normal soda will weigh, or is more denser, than a can of a diet soda, and the normal soda will sink, but the diet soda will float. Now, before we do this with this uh, jug of water, the first thing we'll do is we will measure the weight of a 330 milliliter can of a soda. This gives us a weight reading of 300 and between 375, well, 375 grams. Things oscillating there. Take that off, and I'll put the diet soda on, and it's uh, supposed to be oscillating between well, 370. So, is this myth looking busted? Let's find out by floating in water. First of all, the small scale with a jug of water. Right, the setup is that it's because it's going to displace a lot of water. I've only partly filled the jug with water and I put it on a plate to catch any overflow. First, the one that we expect to sink. And, well, gets rid of the air pocket, and uh, I probably could have put some more water, it, but it's sunk, it's on the bottom. Take it out, turn it upside down again, and it's sunk. Okay, that's what we expect from the video for the normal coat, the normal sona. Now, I'm going to pick up the diet soda and drop that in, put that in. I've put a bit more water in the jug just in case. And sunk. I don't know if this is a result of the American formulation because the video was American and uh, these are British formulations. So, but from the viewpoint here in the UK, the myth is that a can of a soda, diet soda will float rather than a can of a normal soda. That myth looks busted.